Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So I hope you're doing well today. Today, our quote of the day is, People who avoid failure also avoid success by Robert Kiyosaki. The reason for this is that we may not get it the first time right, maybe not even the fifth or the tenth time, but if we persist and continue to experiment, we will find a way to achieve our goals. We can salvage something from every hindrance, delay, or difficulty that we have in our life. When you have encountered a difficulty in your life, the best start is to calm down and find out what may have caused the problem. Failure is valuable if we learn from it. We may lose because of some personal inadequacy that we have. There is always a reason to the loss of failure. If you can determine the reason, you can correct it and re-navigate yourself towards a better path. Try to look at yourself or, or the situation from observer eyes, eyes that are not emotionally attached with it. Do, do you have some kind of weakness that you haven't noticed before? If you have, then be willing to take action to correct it. It is easy to find people who will give their opinion about something that we do, but often we do not want to listen to other people's opinions of our ideas or our work. I have done this many times in my life. For example, everybody told me not to open my restaurants. They told me that this project would take up all of my time and energy. And in the end, I did open my health food restaurants because I wanted uh, to help people make healthier food choices. But a few months later, due to the coronavirus, I had to close them down. And, and now I decided that I'm not going to reopen my restaurants after the coronavirus threat goes away. Because not only did I foresee that I would lose a lot of money uh, if I do reopen, but also I accepted that I did not really enjoy this line of work and found myself losing my direction from my purpose. In the end, I am glad that I tried and understood that this is not the, the right direction for me. If you find the courage to face your shortcomings and move in the right direction for you, then everything that happens to you is actually perfect and not a failure. If you can ask yourself why you lost this battle and how you can improve yourself, then act the, the mere act of being self-critical is not a negative act, but rather allows you to become stronger as a human being, which is something absolutely necessary, critical for success. You gain much introspection when you check yourself up and you find your shortcomings and work towards improving them. Now, there is no need, of course, to be good at everything, but there is a need to be good at things that help you develop into the best version of yourself. If you're not good at basketball, that's fine. Don't focus on improving your ball skills. But if you're not so good at relationships, or are not so good at making a living for yourself, or are not so good at maintaining your health or peace of mind, then these are things that you clearly want to make sure that you are always working at improving. And from every failure, there is a lot to gain. You can improve your weaknesses when they are in areas that are necessary for your self-actualization. We really do not need to be good at everything, but we do need to be good at what we need to be good at in order to become the best version of ourselves. You can view mistakes as stepping stones to becoming better at life. Avoid the attitude that whatever will be, will be. Take action, and when you make mistakes, learn from them, experience, experiment some more, use good judgment, and do stay with your goals, but if the results that you desire don't come your way, then change your approach. My goal in life is to help people live better, healthier, and happier lives. And the restaurants were, were one way that I could have achieved this. But there are also other ways that I can achieve this goal as well. Other ways that will make me happier and will be more aligned with, with me. There is no need to persist with something that is not giving you the results and happiness that you desire. But you should stay with your goals and find better directions, a better approach to achieve them if uh, one way has failed. There is always a way to solve a problem. There is always a way. And this belief that there is always a way, even following failure, is key to achieving anything. 
This state of mind allows you to persist even when faced with adversity. When you believe there is a way, then you will find the way. <laughs> Take a step back. Maybe look at your situation from a different perspective. And if you cannot get mentally refreshed, then take a walk in nature or a rest, take a nap, refresh yourself. We are all familiar with the story of Thomas Edison of trying uh, uh, 3,000 different designs before developing the light bulb. Uh, it took him two years to find uh, to develop this light bulb that will last over uh, 1,200 hours and was affordable to the masses. So, if even if something takes many trials and errors until you find the right way, if you persist and keep experimenting, then all of a sudden you will see how lucky you really are. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life towards a better place for you. And the question of the day you want to ask yourself is, are you self-aware enough to acknowledge failure and weakness. What did you learn from your failures and how can you change your approach to achieving your goals? So if you say that uh, in a better way, you can say, am I self-aware enough to acknowledge failure and weakness? And what did I learn from my failures and how can I change my approach to achieving my goals? So as usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see how you're improving your life and in which direction you want to go to make sure that you reach your goals. So the affirmation of the day is, I use my failures to learn, improve, better myself and grow stronger every day. I use my failures to learn, improve, better myself and grow stronger every day. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to enter your subconscious mind and change your whole life. So I hope you had I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel to get these uh, videos that are similar to this and nutrition and wellness videos. Almost every single day I upload a video. So Please also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your life to a healthier, better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.